Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this sheet metal part by understanding the basic sheet metal design approach in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So this is the part. Now let's understand the model tree. So this is my first wall. Then I added one flange, then a flat, then I mirrored the flat, then one more flange, which is nothing but this feature. Then I created a hole and patterned it. Then one more hole. Then I created this flange. Now if you see this flange, this is kind of multiple flange. And for this kind of feature, we usually go with flange. But if you go inside this group, this wall is created using extrude wall. So why it is created by extrude wall instead of flange? So there is a specific reason behind this and you will understand this while designing the part. Then the next feature is I have mirrored the same group, then we have couple of rounds and the part is done. So in my previous video, I explained about these four options in detail. I explained about sheet metal join in detail. So if you have not seen these videos, then you must watch these videos to understand the basic sheet metal design approach in Creo Parametric. The links are given below in the description area and it will come onto your screen at the end of this video. Just tap the link and watch the video. Now let's start from the beginning. And for that go to new, part, sheet metal, assign a proper name and say ok. So let's create the first wall. And my first wall is this front face. And for this I will go with planar. I will select the datum plane, normal. Now I will create one center line here, then I will go with circle, I will draw one circle like this, the circle die is 2.75, then I will create one line somewhere here, now this dimension is 3.5, then one more line, it will come like this. Then last line here. Now the dimension from here to here it is 3.75. Then from here till here it is 2. This angle is 45. And this dimension is 1. I will say OK. Thickness I will take 0.1 and I will say OK. Then the next feature I will create is this flange which is somewhere here. And for that I will go to flange. I will select this back edge. Go to shape, sketch, sketch, normal. Now this dimension is 45. I will draw one line from here till here. Dimension from here till here it is 2.25. Now this dimension is not required. I will go with the total height, this is 4 and say ok. Now if you zoom this area, you are getting extra material this side. This material can be removed using a relief, go for bend relief, rectangular and this material is removed, say ok. Now the next feature I will create is this wall and for that I will go to flat, I will select this edge. Here I can go with trapezoidal, this I will move it this side. Now I will go to shape, sketch, normal. Now here I can assign all the dimensions from here till here 
this dimension is 2 first I need to delete this dimension and then I will go with this dimension from here till here this is 2 the angle is 15 and the total height is 1.5 say ok now again this unnecessary portion I can remove it and for that I will go to relief I will select rectangular and here I will give 0.75 and this material is removed say ok now this feature I will mirror it I will use this datum plane and I will say ok Now the next feature I will create is this flange and for this you can only use flange you cannot use flat because you cannot add a flange on a curve edge using flat so I will just select this edge now here we have a default option called joggle Now this dimension is 0.6 this I will make 0.2 and I will say ok. Now I will go for hole I select this surface switch on datum now the diameter of the hole is 0.2 now for the hole placement we have different type of placement here we have linear, radial, diameter, coaxial, on point. So I'll go with diameter. This angle is zero. Now if you go with diameter placement, then you can automatically get this piece circle dia in your drawing. Now the whole depth I will set through all. And this dimension is 1.9 and I'll say ok. I'll go with pattern, axis pattern, I'll select this axis, I'll say 360 degree and say ok. Now the next feature I'll create is this flange. So this flange looks like a multi flange and for multiple flange we generally go for flange but here I will create this flange using extrude wall and why it is like this let us understand so I will go to extrude I will select this face I will say normal now I will add one line from here this side then it will go like this and then it will go like this I will create reference here and here I will say parallel, this line has to be parallel with this and this line has to be onto this. Now draw on center line somewhere here, dimension, now this point to this center line to this point. This dimension is 1.5 and this line has to touch here. So I will select this point and I will select this reference. Now I will say ok. uncheck material removal now this is 1 inch and I will say ok so this is created using extrude wall now let us try with flange I will create flange this side I will go to shape sketch sketch normal I will just delete this and I will create one line similar to that. Let us say this is my sketch and I will say ok. Now what is happening here? I am getting similar kind of flange. Now I can give some offset value here and I can maintain this width as 1 inches. 
I'll say okay. But in case if this flange dimension changes to other value, like let's say it is 3, what happens you see? Now that offset value is fixed and that is why this flange width is increasing. But here since we have given this width value as 1, it is maintaining 1. So it doesn't matter what is the value of this dimension. You will always get 1 inches for this flange width. But in case of this width, it is keep changing. So let us make it 2.25, the original one. So now you understood that why we cannot use flange in this situation. So if this flange is throughout this edge till here, then we can go for flange. Otherwise, it is better to go with extrude wall instead of flange wall. So let us delete this. So this is done. Now the next feature is this particular feature. And for that, I'll go to planar. I'll select this surface. I'll say normal. Now I'll go to reference and I'll take this edge as a reference and I will delete this reference. I'll draw on center line from here and then I'll go to palette, shapes and I will use this shape. I will drag somewhere here. I'll say okay. Now this dimension is 2 and this dimension is 0.75. Now if you say okay, this wall will not merge with this wall. Even you have selected merge to model, it will not merge. So in such cases, You draw the complete boundary like this and trim inner portion. Now you say okay. Now this wall got merged with this. Now the next feature is the cutout. So I'll go with extrude. I select the same face, normal, palette, shapes, same shape. I will move this point to this point and this point to this point. The width is 0.3, say okay. Now I can make a group of these three features and I can go to mirror it. I'll select this datum and say okay. So the part is almost done. Now we have couple of rounds to be placed. So go to engineering, round and start adding the round. The round value is 0.1. Say OK. One more round, which is a bigger one. This is 0.5. And the last feature is hole here. I'll draw one center line onto this. 
सर्कल दिस इज पॉइंट फोर एंड दिस वैल्यू इज पॉइंट फाइव नाउ गो विथ थ्रू ऑल एंड से ओके सो योर पार्ट इज डन सो वंस इट इज डन इफ यू गो फॉर फ्लैट पैटर्न यूल गेट अ नाइस फ्लैट पैटर्न लाइक दिस Now the last thing is this PCD. So if you create a hole and pattern it using radial or diameter, then you will get auto piece circle in your drawing. So no need to do anything manual. And for this, I have a separate dedicated video. So if you want to create a auto piece circle in your drawing, then you must watch this video. The link is given below in the description area and right there on your screen. Just tap the link and watch the video. So that's it from this video, and thanks for watching.